our automated messaging system through Hospitable, what we have set up and why we have it kind of set up the way we do. So to get here, you're going to go to Hospitable, then you're going to go to Guest Experience, then you're going to go to Messaging Rules. And in here, you'll find all the messages you have set up. Uh, so you can see on status here, uh, green is active, grayed out is not active, rule name, what the message is, basically the sending time, uh, the host, all properties, if it's all properties or a specific property, and then what platforms is it getting sent on. You can also filter it up here by activated event trigger, has picture, host, platform properties, or timing. So we're going to kind of step through each one. So the first one we have is a new booking inquiry, which is sent immediately upon a new booking inquiry. So uh, these are short codes. You can learn more about short codes by clicking here and seeing the list of all short codes that Hospitable offers. Uh, if you need, you could also create your own custom short codes by going in here and managing your custom codes. So on this message, you will see that um, hello, guest first name is the first thing up. After that, goes in and says, thanks a lot for your interest in listing name for your trip in listing city. And then more details. So basically like check in, check out, number of guests, nights, uh, the listing type, uh, answers to any questions, and then host name. So again, this is sent immediately after a new inquiry. Um, you could also set up so pre-approve inquiries once the mes message comes through, the platforms that the message will be sent on, uh, the host name and the properties. So going back, um, the next one that we have set up is a new pre-approval. Uh, so hello, guest first name, confirm that you've been pre-approved for the listing type on the platform, uh, 24 hours to book before it expires. Uh, Pre-approval would be for reservation, check-in, guest nights, and then host name. And again, the, the rest of the stuff is the same. Uh, so the next one would be new request to book. Hi, uh, guest first name, thanks for your interest in uh, listing name. Want to confirm that we have got your request to book. The total price would be this. Uh, we will review your request and come uh, back with the answer as soon as possible. Um, we'd like to put in this little PS about it's an automated message, but we read through everything just so people know that when they're reaching out to us that we will get back to them. Uh, this is an automated message if there's an issue with payment. Uh, so platform notified us that the reservation won't be confirmed until we have updated payment in the system and then let us know if there's anything we could do to help. So this is a specific message for one property. This property has a 30 day, uh, a 30 night minimum. So uh, this uh, property requires a lease sign off. Uh, so this is a specific message once booking this, this house. So hi, guest first name, thanks for the reservation. Uh, we reached out to confirm and let you know we're excited to host you. Reservation begins on check-in nights guests. Two important things to do before you can get details to the property and your keyless entry code, uh, fill out our pre-arrival form and digitally sign the lease agreement. So uh, currently we found that there aren't many property management um, systems set up to handle midterm rentals, so 30 nights or more. So one thing we've done to help kind of automate this process is we've set up a, a pre-arrival form through um, HubSpot this allows us to automate uh, getting the guest information uh, that we then use to build the lease agreement. Once we build it, then uh, they could digitally sign it uh, remotely from wherever they are. Um, so again, it's being sent out immediately after the booking was accepted. Um, this would be a expired pre-approval. So if they're pre-approved for a booking, um, but they never followed through with it, this is that message. So hi again, guest first name. We hope that this message finds you well. Um, we see that 
the earlier pre-approval has expired. If you're still interested, blah, 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 reach out. Um, so a lot of these are very standard, uh, just easy messages. Uh, so here's a check-in instructions. Um, this again is property specific for this house. So hi guest first name. We're so excited to welcome you to our property. Uh, your unique keyless entry code is blah, blah, blah. Uh, so you'll see when I say blah, 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 it's this uh, custom code, which will give you access to property. Your unique code will activate on check-in time, on check-in day, and deactivate uh, at checkout. Uh, so uh, we also have a house manual that we uh, have on a different platform that is basically like a guidebook and all the details for the property. Um, here are a few um, key things uh, that you'll find the get guidebook, like check-in info, address, directions, Wi-Fi, house rules, local recommendations. Um, it's an interactive platform. Um, we might talk about that more in a different video, but it's a great setup uh, if you want your guests to be able to quickly jump on on their phone or computer and find a lot of useful information. Um, so that is specific for that house. Uh, we have a message that goes out the first morning after the guests uh, stay there. So this is hi guest first name. We hope that you've settled in all right and you're experiencing a five star stay. Please let us know if there's anything you need uh, or if we can assist you in any way. Um, we like to include this because we'd love people to share their experiences with us on social media. We, we love to see uh, people enjoying our property. And then the next one would be the checkout for this house specifically. Uh, hi, guest first name. Hope you have had a five star stay. Like to remind you that checkout time is by blah, blah, blah. So checkout hour. Um, before leaving, please take a look at the house manual. So again, that has all the details, um, but basically we like to keep it pretty easy. So uh, just a few quick you know, things to do before checking out. Um, and then a little signature of safe travels. And then after uh, they check out, so three days after, hi guest first name is a pleasure hosting you, listing name. Um, we're gonna provide basically a review of you uh, on Airbnb, uh, five star review. We'd appreciate if you review us as well as it helps you know build our business. So those are the basic messages we tend to use across the platform or across a variety of platforms, uh, with some being specific to certain properties. So let's say uh, we want to create this for a different property. We clone this message and uh, adjust it. So let's say uh, this property has a hot tub um, and has a specific way to access the property. The check-in instructions would be different for this property versus one without a hot tub or with a different way of accessing the property. So depending on what the property setup is, uh, the check-in and check-out instructions might be slightly different, but you can set them all up through here. If you run into trouble, um, one nice thing is they have a help section here where you can go in and get help on a bunch of different things. But this is a very easy way to set up and not have to worry about being on your phone all the time. If you're out to dinner with your family or something like that, you can respond um, shortly after. But at least the guests will have messages that they need to be able to start, you know, or end their reservation. 